John Salter returns 37 March 21st. Only one of his 23 fights has made it to the judges. Tonight, he tries to tame the 10-0 Johnny Eblen. It's number one versus number three in the middleweight division. John Salter wrestled out of Lindenwood University right here in St. Charles, Missouri, 2007 NAIA National Wrestling Champion at 174 pounds. For Eblen, he's looking to show up and show out in his Great native fire. show Great me fire. state. Round. Bell round number one, touch of gloves and the southpaw Salter. Orthodox Eblen. Little feeling out process here in the Opening seconds, both pawing at each other. And it's Eblen initiates the first offensive attack, but more of a just getting to know you, a little bit of a feeling out process, John. Well, this, this is, that was a nice right hand landed by Johnny Eblen. Like, the one thing about Johnny Eblen, is, look, his confidence is growing. He is now starting to believe. A lot of people don't realize that a fighter, even when they're five and zero, oh, they still have doubts. They're not sure. Johnny Eblen is now believing in his ability. He knows how good he is. He trains with studs every day at ATT, and he believes that now is his time. ATT. Well-deserved reputation of taking prospects and turning them into savages. Eblen, all six of his wins via knockout or submission have come in the opening round. For Salter, he has 13 first round finishes. Just past the minute mark. John Salter giving a couple different reads. That was a beautiful left hand landed by John Salter on the entry by Johnny. Eblen looking for the takedown, scoops out the legs and secures it. Salter very comfortable off his back. Despite starting jiu-jitsu training at the age of 21, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt and uh, great fight IQ when it comes to the ground game for John yeah, Salter. Let's, let's, let's just be honest about this. There's a lot of black belts out there. They are not the level of John Salter. Salter is a world-class grappler. The guy is a phenomenal jiu-jitsu practitioner with the wrestling that he already brought, already brought, had to bring in. Yeah, and uh, speaking of wrestling, Eblen started at the age of five, wrestled D1 for the University of Missouri. Alum include Ben Askren and Tyron Woodley. Michael Chen, I believe. Yeah, and you see right there, you see right away, Salter bring it up for a triangle attack. Look at his coaches. Johnny having to work his way through that. Look at this guy can move. He's going for, going for the arm now. Salter Johnny's looking in trouble. The submission, the 11th of his career, looking to knock Johnny Eblen from the ranks of the undefeated. Eblen submit, and Eblen slips out. Well done, and now in the close guard of Salter. Look, man, you get into those Spider-Man-like attacks, all of a sudden that web is closing in around you. That's what John Salter will do. Johnny needs to be very careful about when he allows himself to get some separation and that he needs to be bringing shots down on Salter to stop his ability to lock up those submissions. Final two minutes of the opening round and Johnny Eblen trying to deliver some short right hand. Salter trying to control his posture. This is what John Salter cannot do. He cannot sit here and allow Johnny Eblen to be in his guard and just let him grind on him. This is not gonna be beneficial for what John Salter is capable of doing off of his back. He needs to start creating angles. He needs to start making Johnny Eblen not want to be in this position. Interestingly, Eblen popped up and then put himself back. <laughs> One of those, you, know, you think, I want to gain space because I want to punch it, then I want to control. Right. And that's part of when you see a guy being down in this position like Johnny, part of it is to control the posture, control the movement of John Salter who's underneath him. He does not want John Salter to what we call off angle him and start creating an angle that can put him in a submission type situation. Evelyn. There's a short forearm across the jaw of Salter who's done a 
Good job of neutralizing the attack of Johnny Evelyn, who is in top position, but there is a over the left eye of yeah. Salter. Salter's got a small cut over that left eye. I don't think it's really creating any kind of problem for him right now. But all these little shots that Johnny's starting to put on him, John doesn't wear damage well. You know, he's a guy, some guys, you can hit him with a brick and they, it never shows. Some guys, you breathe on them and they show. <laughs> well, both fighters, big elbow. Breathing heavily after a tough opening five minutes. Based upon all of these shots, here's where I think where John Salter gets that little grazing shot. A lot of times those slicing punches. I think that's what opened up the eyebrow of John Salter. But it was all of this work here when Johnny Evan decided to go to the ground. He takes John down, but he put himself in a bad position at one point with a good submission attempt. The arm at one point was extended. I, I'm not saying the triangle was really that deep. He didn't have it. You can see by the positioning of his legs, but he was able to straighten the arm at a certain point, but not enough to really be a dangerous submission. And when Johnny escaped and it got to that guard position, John Salter just was in a position where he took too many shots in the round to win. Well, Johnny Eblin would uh, prefer not to get into a pitched battle. He says that he loves to control and dominate his opponent, while Salter, of course, looking to Try to turn things around here in the second round. My cracked crystal ball says that Big John McCarthy's unofficial scorecard reads 10-9 for Evelyn. It's a good crystal ball you have. Due to the takedown and the control on the ground. Yeah, you take you, you take a look in the stand-up. He actually landed the better shots, and then on the ground, although Salter had the attack, it never was that close to being a good submission, and he took a lot of shots, even some of them were small. So it's going according to plan for Eblin, who says he prefers to strike and wrestler. He likes the grappling game, but wants to really mix it all up. And here in the opening minute, the insulter trying to find an angle, trying to find an opening. That's exactly what Salter's doing. He's trying to look for that moment. He sees that when Johnny throws, he tends to take his head and he dips, dips it off to the right or left and he's trying to time that motion. Eblin was trying to take Salter's head off with that left hook that whiffed by. Oh, Eblin goes for the inside kick, checked by Salter. Both of them trying to navigate distance. And that was that was perfectly solid. in range for Evelyn. Lands that body kick, right hand backs Salter up. Yeah, right now as you're seeing John Salter starting to go back a little bit more often. And he's off, he's not getting his head off the center line. Absolutely, so. exactly the, the point. Notice his, his motion's actually stopped a little bit, breathing a little bit harder. It's not that he's tired. It's just he's not too sure where the attack from Johnny's going to come. And that's exactly what Evelyn wants to keep it unpredictable. Doing a great job of really mixing his attack, going low, high, and showcasing all of those skills. And, and look, at Salter is looking for the takedown. He's looking for that opportunity. He's just not seeing it. Take a look at the base and positioning of Johnny Evelyn and the way he's kind of squatting down. You saw that nice little twitch of the leg. That's going to stop Salter at times. And now he goes for the takedown. As it did against Gegard Musasi. Hello. The twitch of the leg. Something that uh, Salter says uh, really got into his head. And now Evelyn securing another takedown and has Salter against the fence. Evelyn, yep, 30 years of age, but just his 11th professional fight. Look, 30 years of age is still young as a fighter. And Johnny Evelyn's got a lot of upside to him coming up. And, he, and he's, like I said, he's getting better right here. The and he's well preserved for a 30 year <laughs> And the fact that he's actually willing to take the fight to the ground against someone like Salter, who everyone knows is dangerous there, says a lot about Johnny's confidence. Well, and it says a lot about him that at 10 0, he's already ranked number three and bringing it to the number one ranked John Salter in this fight, John. Yeah, really. Salter just waiting for Johnny to give him a little bit of a rise so he can start to pull on that leg. Sit up. Johnny not going to do anything at all. He's going to stay nice and based. Trying to keep heavy hips. Pinched down on the arm now that Salter is trapped. Oh, and 
That was Salter looking for the leg lock. Evelyn's lone submission win was via guillotine choke back in August of 2018. As they're back up on their feet coming up on the final minute of the second round. And Johnny Evelyn getting the best of the experienced former title challenger John Salter. Under a minute left here in the round. Nice body kick, whip that into Salter. And those body kicks and that little twitch of the leg that he's giving, it's, it's giving Salter problems. He's not able so to read right what's coming. Yeah, he's, again, John, you assess Evelyn's performance here coming up on the final 30 seconds of the second round against a guy who has been there and done that against, you know, John Salter. Well, I really like when Johnny goes into his orthodox stance, he utilizes that kick with the right leg. Stuffs the takedown. And he's got a good jab that he's using. When he goes into the southpaw, he doesn't seem to jab near as much. Underhook and Salter on his feet. Knee up the middle. That and that awesome. was a little south of the equator. Here at the family arena, a shot to the family jewels. That of both guys. A little bit off on Johnny's, but... Stay right there, buddy. Yep. Stay right there. No, stay there. Stay back there. You ready to go? You ready to go? You ready to go? Time in. Fight! Action resumes. A touch of the gloves. And Evelyn resumes his attack. Head kick blocked by Salter. But a good round for the undefeated Evelyn, Big John. Absolutely. You called that one right. That was as good a round for Johnny Evelyn as you would think he could get at this point against a guy like John Salter. Yep. Great, great fight, last round. And for Salter, what is it gonna take for him to salt away the victory? He's behind on your unofficial scorecard. Yeah, I've got it behind two rounds. I think John Salter needs to actually work towards using, oh, oh. that was a beautiful kick right up the middle by Johnny Evans. And one up high, but it's Salter coming back with the left hand. Finish your thought about Salter, Johnny. Salter needs to use his hands to get inside and work for a takedown. He's got to get to the top position. If he's not in the top position on the ground, Johnny's going to be able to stop what he's been doing again. So I look at it, he's got to get this force of fight to the ground in the top position. We continue to witness the growth of Johnny Eblen under the tutelage of the vaunted American top team. And he and Salter exchange in the stand-up, and Salter sneaks in a left hand. Evelyn's still a little wild with the striking, John. <laughs> Every time he goes to Southpaw, Morrow, I'm seeing he starts to get a little oh. wider with his shots. Right to the body by Salter. There's a right to the body by Evelyn. Johnny Evelyn, when he's in that orthodox stance, clean, crisp, straight shots, beautiful jab. He's done some great work. Beautiful kick with the right leg to the body. Salter leading with the left hand, but not setting it up with the jab as they face. Sharp right hand down the middle, right to the body. Counter left upstairs by Salter. So Evelyn using the jab as a range finder, John, and unable to find the, the range right now. Yeah, you can see right now, Evelyn, nice kick by Salter, but Evelyn is the guy who's right now, he's controlling the distance. When he wants to come in, he's coming in, landing his shots so just it. like that right there. And Salter cannot get his counters off. He's missing the target. Under three minutes left in the third round. Salter inside low kick. We'll try to do something to perhaps set up a takedown attempt, although again, against a guy who's been wrestling for 25 years, wrestled D1 at the University of Missouri. We talked about Salter's wrestling pedigree and Evelyn definitely getting the better of the striking exchanges. No doubt about it. And now marking up the face of Salter with right and caught him with a left hook. And again, notice when he's in that orthodox stance, man, the straight right hand down the pipe, just like you just saw, the beautiful jab. When he's orthodox, Johnny Evelyn is flowing. He's got the range down. He understands the timing. Nice check right there by Evelyn. 
Two minutes left in the fight. Jab from the southpaw stance by Eblen. And I agree with Big John McCarthy that southpaw striking not as proficient as from the orthodox stance. No, not. And, but, you know, and there is case in point. But he right does across. create problems by going back and forth sure. with that. Oh, he's created plenty of problems for John Salter throughout this night. I'll tell you what, that right kick to the body has been money for Johnny Up. We've talked about the fact that this was on paper the toughest test of Johnny Eblen's burgeoning MMA career and thus far passing that test and looking to take down John Salter with a single leg. And this is that wrestling exchange. A lot of hardcores were looking forward to, considering their background, John Salter was looking forward to this, he yeah, said. But he's got the legs now, and there he goes. Well, he wasn't looking forward to that, John. <laughs> Not at all. And a minute left now in the fight. Steve Mako got Johnny Eblen to American Top Team where he met Mike Brown, King Mo, Dean Thomas, and that murderer's row of competitors. Next thing he knew, he was quitting his job, fighting full time. And now with less than 30 seconds left, Johnny Eblen on the cusp of conquering the biggest name of his career, looking to move to 11 and 0. Johnny, Johnny Eblen has been smoother than a bowl of boards and cheese in this. He has just been fantastic. The test is over. Let's see what kind of marks the judges give them. <laughs> we will find out, but I think it was a shutout for Johnny. He just was put off by everything that Johnny Evelyn was able to bring. The takedowns caused him problems throughout this fight because he wasn't sure when they were coming. Almost came up with the arm bar at one time. Right there, it wasn't close, but it was the one attack that John Salter had, but that body kick, man, over and over, he landed that and then right back to taking him down again. John Salter just was unable to figure out the rhythm and pace of what Johnny Evelyn was doing. And when he was in, like I said, that orthodox stance, that right hand, just beautiful. Here comes another kick to the body. All of those, those hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go to your three judges at cage side. Marcel Varela, Jaron Vallel, David Hewitt, all have exactly the same at 30 to 27. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision. The human cheat code, Johnny Eblen. Well, good to have baseball back. And Johnny Eblen, he pitches a shutout in the biggest fight of his career, passing it with flying colors as he defeats John Salter. And he's standing by with Big John McCarthy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Johnny Eblen. Johnny, that was just a beautiful performance against a very, very good veteran fighter, a guy that's crafty. You used your footwork, you had him off balance. You mixed up everything. You mixed up your wrestling, your hands. That human cheat code thing, it's starting to, be, starting to become real. Damn right. But hey, let me take a second to thank all you innovators, all you electricians, plumbers, um, mechanics, all the people that do the dirty work in this, in this society. I appreciate you guys for putting up uh, with all the bullshit and making this dope ass reality what it is so I can fight in the cage for their entertainment. I appreciate you guys so much. Coming in here against a guy like Salter with all that experience and knowing that he had a really dangerous submission game. Was that playing in the back of your head when you took him down the first time and he tried to lock in the triangle and tried for the armbar? Yes, of course. I took him down and I was like, this dude knows, knows what he's doing. So I had to take my time. It was kind of a boring first round. I apologize for that. Uh, I need to go back uh, to, the, to the drawing board and, and fix some things up in that area, but hopefully you guys enjoy the performance tonight. 11-0 now. Your confidence is building. Your, your skill set is absolutely increasing with every fight. We're seeing it. Your coaches, they can't ask for anything more. What is it that you want? Hey, man, Musasi said he didn't know who the f I was. I'm right here, dog. I'm ready to take your ass out. You're an old-ass lion. 
I'm a young ass lion. Let's get up in here and let's make that fight happen. Sounds good to me. Beautiful win. Congratulations on staying undefeated. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the undefeated Johnny the Human Cheat Code, Eblin. Johnny Eblin's goal is to have that bell wrapped around his waist by the end of the year. He just openly called out the champion, Gegard Mousasi. Eblin just defeated the number one ranked Salter. And now, Johnny Eblin, 11 0, 7 0 in Bellator MMA. That win streak in Bellator, the longest in the division.